Mary Lou Retton by Jordan Frost You give up your childhood, you miss proms, games, and high school events. And people say it's awful. I say it was a good thing. You miss something, but I think I gained more than I lost. Another quote. Be cocky. Walk into the Georgia Dome like you own it. A couple more are, for athletes, the Olympics are the ultimate test for their worth. For six years, I kept my five Olympic medals wrapped in a plastic bread bag beneath my bed. The last one is, if I had a bad performance in a particular leotard, I threw it in the trash. She was the first American woman to get a perfect 10. She did this at the 1984 Los Angeles Olympics. But the life of an Olympian starts with step one. Mary Lou was born in 1968 in Fairmont, West Virginia. Mary Lou started gymnastics when she was seven years old. When she was 15, Mary Lou dropped out of school and decided to train with professional coach Bella Corley. Mary Lou's inspiration was the one and only Nadia Comaneci. She didn't know this at first, but after the Olympics, she was going to be one of the most famous gymnasts that ever lived. On vault, Mary Lou got a perfect 10. On bars, Mary Lou got a 9.95. On beam, she got a 9.8. Also on floor, Mary Lou got a perfect 10. After retirement, Mary Lou wrote a book called Mary Lou Retton's Gateways to Happiness. Mary Lou retired only of the age of 18. Today, Mary Lou lives in Houston, Texas with her husband and four daughters.